Hi, a very warm welcome to Dusty Shop Collectibles and back on to the little railway project, uh, the little narrow gauge railway. So uh, last time, got the uh, tiered level on and the sort of cliff rock faces if you like. Um, got those in place and finished painting it all black as you see on the screen now. Uh, today we're going to have a look at putting some texture on there and uh, if time allows, a little bit of paint. But uh, we'll see how we get on. First job is to put the, uh, the pond in that I forgot to do last time. The other day I didn't put the uh, the pond in at the base of this rock fall, so this waterfall. So that's what I'm going to do first of all today. Just cut this around. piece of card here and I'm just going to secure this underneath just to support um, the base of the pond then I'll just take the, uh, the piece that I cut out and I'll glue that in bit there. Oh, popped it. So I'll just lift this up and show you. As you can see I've just glued that to sub flush. Just put this camera back. So I'm just adding glue round the uh, periphery of the, the hole that I've just cut. And this time round, I'm going to use newspaper because it's much more flexible than the card I was using before. And when I spray the uh, the activator on there for the super glue, it makes the newspaper go all pliable, which means you can work it quite easily. And then it's just a case of trimming it off. these bags of scenic material, if you go and buy them from your local model shop, they do get quite expensive, especially if you come in a large area. So what I'm going to try to do today is I popped over to Argos and I bought some children's play sand, which cost me I think about £4 for a 15 kilogram bag. Um, and uh, I'm going to give it a go, see if I can glue that onto the layout and use that as my texturing, rather than uh, using up all of my bags and bags of different um, scenic material. Um, I keep these in Ziploc bags just so they don't get damp and uh, if I do drop them they don't go everywhere. That's always worked quite well for me. But as I say, yeah, children's play sand, about £5 for 15 kilograms. So I've had that in the oven probably for about 10 minutes on, you know, relatively low heat. And you can see now it's all dried out and it's not clumping together. Um, when I apply it, I will use a sieve. So as you put this through, obviously any of the large bits will get caught in the sieve gives me a nice even texture and then in here I'll just put some of that blackboard paint in there with a good uh, good helping of uh, PVA glue and mix them together so let's head over to uh, to the railway and let's get some texture down
not too bad at all I've cleared up all the loose sand um, a little bit of a ridge running through the middle just about here I might need to do something with that and a little bit sparse on the sand over the back there I may need to come back to those um, otherwise not too bad got a good texture across it now one of the things I've done since the last video um, you saw me put uh, an electric point motor in um, it just failed instantly I think I got some sand in it which was a shame so I've torn all that out I've kind of made good with the rock face and I've gone for one of these surface mount cabin style or, or uh, hut style point motors so at least it can be serviceable in the future well, I'm going to try something a little bit different here so I've got let me just lift this up it's uh, sharp sand so it's a little bit more coarse than the sand I've been using up to now which is clay sand and what I want to try is using the uh, contact adhesive. You remember right at the beginning of this I had a sort of trial piece of card. I'm just going to spray a bit of this onto, onto the face here. And I'm going to grab a stick to it. And that's what we can do by that. some uh, fiberglass resin and I'm going to use that to, uh, to do this area. Let me just switch some of that out here. Well that's all the sand cleared up and uh, yeah the texture doesn't look too bad. Hopefully it'll look a little bit better once it's got some colour on it so uh, that's the next step.
well there you go that's the first layer of paint on there um, obviously quite a lot of finishing to do now but that's just got some of the colours on there and it's looking pretty good I'm really pleased with it it's not going too bad at all a little bit shiny in places but um, got an idea on how to take that down and I'm quite pleased with the way this rock face has sort of blended in um, obviously a lot more scenery to go on here anyway um, if you enjoyed that please do give it a thumbs up and uh, do check out the channel and why not subscribe for the uh, the next instalment of building this uh, sort of bookshelf railway so we'll leave that one there thank you ever so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one